RNG games, they're the latest games to be popular on Roblox and I hate them. I just think they're so weird, I don't know why they're so popular. Well one of them is extremely popular and there's a few others that are popular as well. So I'm going to find out why and we've got 8 of the most popular RNG games on the Roblox platform and we've got a tier list. We've got 5 tiers, W, Decent, Average, Definition of Mid and this is Awful as the bottom tier. My goal is to put at least one of the games in each of the tiers so that we'll have a pretty Pretty good list and we're going to start with the least popular and we're going to end with the most popular. So we're going to start with the least popular one that I could find that seemed to be all right and we've got Sans RNG with 26 players right now, 74% like rating. Um, the, we've got a video there of <laughs> Trump, I don't, okay that's weird. Let's just hop in and see what it's like. I haven't played most of these games, so it's going to be a brand new experience for me. Oh my days. Well, what is all of this here? We've got just some random random characters. Ow, that was so loud. Oh my days. So we've got sands here that are moving around really fast and I've got to click them. This isn't really an RNG game. I mean, I guess it is because there's different rarities for them. This one, one out of 66, I need to click that one three times. It's technically an RNG game, but it's not like any other RNG game. And that's good in a sense. And it is kind of cool. It's interesting, I guess. Um, I wasn't expecting it. I think there is an audience for it. It's not me. I'm not the audience, but I think there is an audience. So I'm not going to put it in this is awful. I'm going to put it in definition of mid because it is a bit mid. It's a bit weird. It's like confined little areas and they're moving around really quickly. It's not great. Uh, but if you're an Undertale fan, you might enjoy it. All right, next up, we've got Studs RNG, 143 players, 87% like rating. Let's jump into it and see what it's like. I'm not quite sure. Maybe you collect studs. That could be kind of interesting. Wow, look how quickly some of these people are rolling. This is a bit more of a traditional RNG game. You've got the roll button. Now, I don't want to spoil this video, but this seems very very familiar. Is this just a carbon copy of, of Souls RNG? I think it is. Even the buttons, they look very similar. Look, Crystallize. I know Crystallize is one of them. For my short time playing it, I don't see much of a reason why you would play this over Souls RNG, but it still is all right. It is definitely better than the Sans game, so I'm going to put in average. Uh, I guess there's an audience for it. Maybe if you've got everything in Souls RNG, you might want to try like one that's similar. Now, the next one, the sixth most popular RNG game. This is actually made by Hasm, the same person that made Please Donate, which I'm sure loads of people are familiar with, the game that you can get free Robux on. It's Player RNG, you get different types of avatars. And this isn't just any avatar, every single Roblox avatar that's ever been made on Roblox is available in this game. You literally, you can see my inventory, I've played this game quite a bit, you can see so many avatars. You might even see yourself as I'm scrolling uh, through this. There's so many different avatars, it's literally every single avatar you can think of. And they're basically ranked on stars, so for example your user ID number or how many visits you have can contribute to your rarity. You can even search up different characters. So if I search up myself, you'll see that I am a legendary here. I've got four letter username, some place visits and two badges. So I got 50 stars and that makes me legendary. I'm pretty interested if any of you have actually got me in this game. So in my Discord server, there's a link in the description. I just set up a giveaway. The first person that can show me that they got me in this game will receive 800 Robux via a gift card. That's right. We're going to do a giveaway, a little giveaway there. You can join my Discord server to participate. Yeah, you just roll and you can see you and just get a random person. Here's someone, boom, just got them. This this could, this could be you. I don't know. I could literally be getting you. It's so cool. It's so unique. And I get why people would play this game because it's interesting. You want to get yourself in the game. My biggest complaint though is the map. It's just kind of the default kind of Roblox. I believe this is called Crossroads, the kind of the default Crossroads map. I'd love if it was kind of its own map, uh, but there will be updates if there are more likes for the game. So I assume that that will be kind of top on the, uh, the agenda for kind of what's to come. I think it has to go in W. It makes so much sense. A game about getting different avatars. I get it a lot more than kind of a and trails and random stuff that doesn't really mean anything. Getting yourself and other people, maybe even trying to get your whole friends list on uh, this game, I think it's super entertaining. So it's 100% the top tier in my opinion. Next up we've got RNG Gods. This one's got over 2,000 players. I haven't played it though before. It says uh, different auras. Once again, we've got auras. Brilliant. I just don't care for auras really. This is kind of the second game we've tried now where you can get auras. At least these ones uh, look a little bit unique. This is Soul's RNG map, isn't it? Isn't this like the exact same map? But yeah, there's like a house here. We've got kind of uh, the waterfall. This looks like a carbon copy once again. Yep, just a carbon copy. Yep, wow, brilliant, common. Oh, you're yay. I'm having so much fun getting auras, touching grass. Yep, this is definitely what I'm doing. But why would you play this game if Souls RNG already exists? I think it's better than the Studs RNG that we saw, quite a bit better. Uh, but I'm still going to put it in average uh, because I, don't, I can't give it decent when Souls RNG exists. The next one we've got is very interesting. We've 
with the icon. <laughs> it's just a polar bear. Um, we've got Hades RNG or Hades RNG. Funny game for real. That's brilliant. I think it's just auras again. If I, I think, judging by the description, I think it's literally just auras once again. And yes, it is. Is that a pickle? You know, it's a green cat with a man. Okay, interesting. Well, there's a roll button. Yeah, once again, it's, it looks it looks the exact same as well. That's the thing that annoys me. If these things looked a bit a little bit different to each other, um, then I'd be like, okay, but they just look the exact same. You just got little text, just scrolls through, and then you got equip or you got skip. That's it. What's the theme with cats here? Why are there there's two cats? Guau guau bo. Okay, yeah, no, I'm leaving this. That's mid. Okay, I that is yeah, that that's bad. I'm gonna put it above uh, the Sans RNG game, but yeah, really really weird. Why does so many cats. I have faith in this next one. I don't, I haven't played it. I don't know, but it's anime RNG. Surely it's not going to be auras that look like, an okay, it's or it's auras that are based on anime. Brilliant. It looks very different. I like how this map looks. This is perfect for a game that's not about RNG. Maybe like a story fighting kind of game. That would be cool. You can roll. Okay, awesome. Uh, getting loads of different things. At least the UI is a little bit different. I can respect that. Green charged. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. A one in four and it looks like that. That's actually pretty cool. We've also got three super rolls. Oh my god, whoa. Cut. Wow, okay, we've got some cutscene. Whoa! Flame? One in a thousand. I guess the super roll we kind of, I got quite lucky, I think, is uh, apparently you get 300 luck. So yeah, still, that's still a pretty rare thing that I got one in a thousand, even with 300 luck. Uh, but the map is really cool. I like the UI. While it is, yes, um, very much kind of just a Souls RNG type of thing, I do like how it's different. You know, they've so made, made it a little bit different and, and yeah it is still ores but they are cool and they are pretty unique so I, I do respect that about this game. So I'm going to put it in decent because I do think it's decent. I don't think that one's too bad to be honest. Not as good as player RNG of course not but I think that that one is pretty good and if you said you're a fan of it then I won't blame you because it is it's pretty cool. The auras are quite nice and the map looks nice. We got two more now. This one is aura RNG. I bet you can't guess what you're collecting. <laughs> this is just Souls RNG's map but just smaller. You've got the cave over there, you've got the leaderboard, then you've got the house right next to the leaderboard you've got stands that promotion promoting stuff this is just the same thing uh let's roll it maybe it's a bit different oh okay it is a little different we've got little uh okay that's cool you've got little images and you've got like a chest you open uh, instead of it actually just being kind of text there's even a re-roll button so you can just click it to instantly re-roll instead of having to like go out and then click the button again i like how it's different as long as it's different and not just the exact same i don't mind it we've even got potions over here so you could purchase uh luck boosts or we've even got blacksmith so i assume maybe that's like combined duplicates to make better ones from we've even got upgrades and quests as well i like that so i'm also going to put that in decent we're going to stick it behind anime rng i think anime rng is quite a bit better uh, but RNG Gods and Studs RNG are a bit too similar to the next game we'll go over, whilst Aura RNG uh, is a little bit different, a little bit of kind of an added layer to it. So now, of course, the final one, the most popular one, 120,000 people playing this one right now, Souls RNG. This one is the one that started it all, really. 50 plus auras that you get. This is why so many games look so similar to each other, because they all tried to copy this game. You can see that I've played it a little bit. I haven't kind of grinded it for multiple times, but I played it a little bit, especially to get this UGC here, this kind of an egg uh, hat UGC. Uh, it was linked to the egg hunt here. So I completed that. Look, some of these look really cool. Look at this one. One in three million sailor. That person had a boat and they they, they just died, but okay. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. It's just, that is really realistic as well. So that's really cool. Like the other games don't really have that. It's just kind of an effect. This one, you're actually on a boat. So I can respect it. Once again, though, you just roll, you see the other stuff. You've seen this one in other games. That's because it's kind of copied this one. This one was kind of the original, uh, to my knowledge. Wow. Okay. I just got gilded. That one's really cool. Look at that. We've got kind of a a ring going around me. I can't believe I just got that while recording. That's pretty cool. The map is very studded, but there is quite a lot of stuff to it. There's a cave inside. There's like a little farm. There's an obby over there as well, which is pretty cool. It is the game that started everything. So I, I re I've got to respect it in that in that sense. I'm not going to put it in W though, because it's just auras. And I still don't get the point of that, but it is going to go to the top of decent. And I am going to move the, because uh, I said I put one in every tier. We're moving Sans RNG down to this is awful. I do think if you're an Undertale fan, you might enjoy it for a few minutes, um, but it is 
still pretty bad. So there you go, player RNG takes the top spot. In my opinion, that's the best one. But if you disagree, let me know in the comment section down below. There might be one on this list or not on the list that you think's the best. That's fine. Let me know in the comment section down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you want to check out my previous video, that's right there. I spoke about Belay Ball and is it getting boring? I personally am getting a little bit bored of it and there are many reasons as to why that is and I spoke about them in that video. Some of them you might have and some of them you maybe haven't even thought of. So make sure you check out that video right there and I'll see you there. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is DMD and as always, peace out.